I say, Dave, I got that bit of land there back at Donovan's, all right. But old Carey made sure of getting that, Dad. Well, these big coves think they ought to have all the best land in the country and leave nothing but the ridges and the wallabies to us poor selectors. Aren't the Democrats as out and all that new? Mm, well, I haven't noticed it. Why, there's thousands of acres of virgin soil where the hand of man has never trod. Eh? Look at Tim Donovan, how he got on. Eh? Well, what did he do? That man come here two years ago without a penny. And today, he owes 2,000 pounds. You no, know, Dave. Once we get this place fucked, we'll be as rich as politicians in a couple of years. You could make a lot of money now if you could cross the emus with the sheep and breed ostrich feathers. And what did you start with, Mr. Maloney? A stout hat and an empty pocket. In fact, I've still got them. Yeah. Yes, no doubt. <laughs> Kate, must you go away? Somehow I'd always hoped that... Yes, Sandy? Oh, what does it matter? You're going away and that's an end of it. Oh, I feel I ought to go, Sandy. They're finding it hard at home. The old selection will be mighty dull without you. Still, you'll, you'll have a chance in the city. Yes, I think I will. Jim Carey has promised to show me the site. You keep away from Carey, do you understand? You've no right to tell me what I'm to do. I'm still a free agent. And if I want to see Jim Carey in the city, I'll see him. I've loved you, Kate. I've worked to get together a comfortable home so as I could come and ask you to be my wife. I tell you, if he tries to get hold of you as he has done other women, I'll... I'll kill him. You needn't worry about him. He, at least, is a gentleman. I had to shake the flower bag to get enough to make the scones we had for breakfast. And there's only one left. Can't you get a dish full of flour from Mrs. Maloney? I can't ask her for any more till we pay back what we owe. Well, if we had enough to pay back what we owe, damn it, we wouldn't want to borrow any, would we? Mum! Mum! Here comes the parson. Sarah! Yes, ma'am? Take out the tablecloth. Oh, what are we going to do? We're going to buy to the house to offer it. Oh, what you do, us, though, can you? Oh, boy. Oh. And it's all we've got. We've never got nothing. Blast the draft. Blast oh, everything. Come, come, Mr. Ray. I say blast Mr. the blast. Uh, oh, oh, I, I beg your pardon, sir. I didn't know that you was around. You see, I was just... Well, will you get the hell out of that? What passing, you see? I'm uh, pleased to see I, you. Uh, have you had your dinner? I have not. <coughs> Don't put yourself out on my account. No trouble, Parson. Uh, sit down, sit down, sit down. And how are things around here, Mr. Rudd? Well, sometimes we has a wedding or a funeral, but it ain't much of a place for sports, sir. Yeah, is I... it? Will you try a scone, sir? Thank you. Just one. Well, rough one. And I've got a cup of nice hot tea for you. Trouble you for just one more scone, please, Mrs. Rudd? Oh, certainly, sir, certainly. Hi. Hmm? Give us a bit of time. Come and engage him in conversion. Parson, let me introduce my son, Dave. How do you do? <laughs> you big slob, you. Dad, Dad, I've got something for him to eat. I've had him planted for weeks. Like an egg, sir? 
Yes, my boy, I would indeed. The drive through the fresh country air has made me very hungry. I'm sorry, Mr. MacPherson. There ain't no more scones in the house. Uh, it's all right, Mum. You don't have an egg, ain't you, sir? Right. Will you have another cup of tea? <laughs> no, thank you, Mrs. Rudd. I must be going now. Oh. I must go now. Good day, all. Good day. Oh. <laughs> right, good day, all. Joe, you son of a devil, I'll break your neck. You're not right. I'm poor old Jack. A little sheep dip will fix him in no time. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he ain't it. Hey, hey! The coach is coming. Come on, come on, come on. Mother, Listen, come, come, Jack. Get out of this boy. Thank you, darling. Goodbye, Mum. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, Dan. Ah, you always was a good girl, Kate. Goodbye. Well, come on, Goodbye. come on. I just will get into the Goodbye, Kate. Goodbye, Kate. Goodbye, Kate. Goodbye, Kate. Goodbye, Kate. Goodbye, Kate. Come on, Kate. Goodbye, 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 Kate. Everything's all right. Oh, Get after it, Roger. Get on, get What's the matter? You ain't frightened, are you? I'd like to see you go first. <laughs> oh, you don't want to be afraid of them. You want to bounce them. Yeah. Well, go down and bounce them. Yeah. Oh. Go on. Perhaps they're best left to themselves. Johnny, get him! Here he comes! I would catch you! He's got an axe! Oh, look out! Hold on. What's the matter with you? It's my father! My father! Go on! He's alive again! So that's his father. He's a liar, it's myself. Say, Dad, there's a cove down the paddock there rounding up the stock. What for? He 
He's acting on a warrant of death against you, issued by John Carey. But he promised to renew the bill. It doesn't matter what I said. Is this to take effect at once? It is. I don't want to press you, Rudd, but I need every penny I can raise just now. 